Well, this is a uh, different beer review. It's a bargain basement beer review. Hey guys, welcome back to Beer Reviews with the Beer Sard. So, bargain basement, right. So, I am not one to pass up a bargain. I am in those fucking second hand shops. I'm in the op shops. I'm down the SPCA looking for the bargains. I'm on trade. I do all that shit. Um, fills my house up with rubbish. But, ah, I fucking love it. You know, you gotta spend your money on something, don't you? So, you might as well spend it on other people's junk. Saying that, I also am very, very, uh, like I love a bargain, I love a bargain. Now, um, over this past week, I've been thinking to myself, well, you know, I'm going to get some beers for the weekend, what am I going to do? And I was like, nah. I was watching some stuff on uh, YouTube, and it got me to thinking, where would you buy beer from another country if you live in little old New Zealand? Where would you buy it from? Um, well, here. We do lots of imported beer here. And it's imported by companies that we don't even know about. Like, you just need to search for it and you can find it. And that's what I did. I typed in Vietnam beer. What do you think I found? Yeah, I found Vietnam beer. I found Vietnam beer that you can buy in New Zealand. Now, when I say I'm a sucker for a bargain, slightly expired beer, is it going to be that bad? Uh, I don't know, we'll find out, because we're going to Saigon. Shit. Still only in Saigon. Yeah, so this, this is Vietnamese beer. It's called Beer Saigon. Oh. That's how expeditious the Vietnamese are. They spell beer, B-I-A. It's shorter. It's shorter than beer. Um, it's an export, a premium quality beer from Vietnam. It's a 355 ml bottle, so it's a big bottle. Uh, and these things run at, uh, what do they run at? Fuck, I think they're about 5.3, 5.6, something like that. Uh, it's probably on there in very tiny writing, yeah, but I can't fucking see it. But it's an export beer from Vietnam, um, and that's uh, four point nine. It's a four point nine. This is a four. It's got a fucking foil lid. It's got foil on it, so it's fancy. It's fancy. Now, twenty four of these suckers for thirty bucks. 30 bucks 7 bucks postage can't beat that import a bit so it's, so it's a little bit out of date and there'll be people going oh, you can't fucking drink out of date beer it'll be fucking horrible I don't care I'm going to try it and it's essentially if it's if it's better than fucking Lion Red fucking cheaper than Lion Red I think I don't know but it'd be better than Lion Red because it's fucking made in Vietnam and it's really hard to get this fucking silver paper off. Fuck that. I'm just going to rip the thing off. I'm going to find me a bloody goddamn motherfucker. I can never find a fucking bottle opener. It's probably the kids. Well, there you go. We've just lifted the lid on this. And we're going to put it in my fancy Tokyo dry glass with the silver rim. Silver rim. <laughs> um, and this has got silver top, so we'll pour this in here. Um, yes, I'm not, like, I'm not, I don't care that it's fucking expired. Isn't that crazy? No, because it's beer. To be fair, at work, there's a fucking uh, bottle of Lion Red that's been in there since 2016. Um, it's, it's, yeah, no one's drinking that. No one's drinking that. But look at that. Look at that. That's, uh, that's pretty fucking nice. That looks good. I have a, oh, there's a, got a bit of a bready, like a very bready smell to that. God, I hope it's not, what do you call it, skunked over or something. 
It smells like like yeasty, bready sort of smell. It smells good. It smells good. It looks good. It looks good. It smells good. Yeah, let's see what it. See if this was thirty five dollars down the drain. That is, that is, that is pretty good. What would I class as, like, that is so, that is good. It's not as, uh, it's like a, it's like a maltier Heineken. It's got a, it's got more of a malt flavour to it. And everyone's saying, oh, fucking Heineken. No, I know. But this is a a little bit maltier than a Heineken. Um, it's got a little that yeasty smell, yeasty bready smell is really good. It's fucking this is lovely. That is a bargain. That is a bargain. God, that is good. Maybe oh, I mean. It is my first beer after work, so, you know, there's a possibility that, you know, my taste buds are just hanging out for a beer and they're going, it's good, just keep drinking. So, we don't know. But we're going to try a few of these tonight. There's a bit of rugby on, so I might just watch that. And I might just uh, drink some more of these. <laughs> beer Saigon. Yeah, so I picked these up from High IQ Liquor. Um... They're an Auckland-based crowd, and they do they do some um, different sort of export stuff. And I do like my uh, different country beers, my export-type beers. There's nothing better than sitting in the backyard drinking a beer from Vietnam. Um, although I'd rather be sitting in Vietnam drinking beer from Vietnam and bringing you, bringing you reviews of beers from where they're from like if I win lotto on Saturday that's what I'm doing I'm heading well probably not to the Ukraine because those Ukraine beers are shit but I'll be definitely going to Vietnam and I'll bring you a, that's what I'll do if I win lotto on Saturday night I will go to Vietnam and I'll bring you a beer Saigon export maybe not export because I'll be already be there beer review from Vietnam Thirty fucking dollars for two dozen. That's pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. There you go. There's a budget friendly beer review from the Beer Sarge.